Question number 16. A. State Faraday's Row of Electromagnetic Induction. So Faraday's uh, Row states that uh, it states that the magnitude of the induced the magnitude of the induced of the induced EMF electromotive force is directly proportional proportional is directly proportional to the rate of change to the rate of change of magnetic flux that cuts across the circuit that cuts across the circuit so if you state like that you'll be able to get one mark question number 16 b figure 12 shows a bar magnet being moved towards a solenoid the solenoid uh, is connected to a galvanometer so we have a bar magnet here with the south and north pole it is being moved in, in and out of the solenoid uh, moved in uh, from D to C uh, so we have a galvanometer here uh, we have point A and B then we have uh, uh, we have uh, uh, the connection complete circuit uh, Roman number one indicate on the diagram the direction of the induced cu current in the uh, cell node and you get one mark so using the uh, framings Uh, left hand rule uh, the direction of the current uh, will be induced current will be this direction so that's how you indicate that Roman number two identify the pole induced at D uh, so the pole induced at D is north pole Uh, Roman number three explain the answer in 16b Roman number two so why north pole you say as the north pole of the magnet as the north pole uh, let's do that north pole of the magnet uh, moves towards the square Uh, the coil moves towards the, the induced current current the induced flow in the coil flows in the coil so forming electromagnet with a node pole forming uh, an electromagnet with the north pole with the north pole uh, so at the end of the at the end with an at the end of the nearest incoming magnet at the end of the nearest incoming magnet
So this opposes the movement of the magnet. This opposes the movement of the magnet. So that's how you answer that. Uh, that is the reason why we uh, uh, identify the pole induced at D as north pole. This is north pole. At the at the north of the magnet, as the north as the north of the magnet moves towards the coil, that is uh, move towards that direction. Uh, the indicated current flows in the coil, forming an electromagnet with the north pole at the end of of the nearest incoming magnet. This opposes the movement of the magnet and uh, you are good. You'll be able to get uh, two marks. Part, part four, apart from the number of turns in the solenoid, state two factors affecting the magnitude of the induced current. So other factors that affect do that is rate of change of magnetic flux, uh, rate of change of magnetic flux uh, so that is at the rate at which the, the magnet is being moved the speed at which the magnet is being moved then the other one angle of uh, of angle of the angle of diffraction the angle of diffraction The angle of diffraction between the wire and the magnetic field between the wire and the magnetic field so that those are the other two factors that uh, affect the magnitude of the induced current and by stating that you get two marks. Part C of question number 16. We are told how explain how laminating the core of a transformer increases its efficiency. Uh, so when you uh, laminate, uh, you reduce eddy currents that's minimizing the heating effect. Uh, that improves the efficiency. So you can say uh, laminating laminating at the core of a transformer of a transformer transformer reduces eddy currents reduces eddy currents that's minimizing the heating effect That minimizing the heating effect. Uh, so hence increases efficiency. Hence increase the efficiency. Eddy currents are localized electric currents induced in a conductor by a varying magnetic field as we have seen in our diagram so that's how you answer that question